honestly, it's an obsession. People that constantly just bother you and won't leave you alone. Listen to you. Watch you. Keep up with you. They're completely obsessed with you. And when that obsession gets too much, then you know what you're supposed to do. And then sometimes it don't have to be too much. You just go on and do what you got to do. When you realize it. Alright, so I touched up on the makeup. I know, y'all. Let me kind of blend this concealer on my cheeks a little bit better. And so now it's time for the bronzer. And for bronzer, what do I have for bronzer? I didn't want just a powder bronzer. I wanted a cream bronzer. Uh, I just use my concealer. My favorite one that I like to use. I use this one. And we're going to warm up the skin. I felt some hairs there. <laughs> There's some hairs there, y'all. I feel it there. Start sharing your experiences. Just like with me, I share mine. I used to share more than I do now. Like, share your experience. Never keep this stuff to yourself. You know, tell somebody what you're going through. Law enforcement, whoever, don't never stop. Tell people about what you're going through. And how people may be forcing you to do things because they're bad about doing stuff like that. Forcing somebody to do something that they don't want to do. Talk to somebody. I come all the way down onto my brows with my bronzer now on my forehead. Makes my forehead not look too too big. <laughs> I do that now. I don't see how a person or any human being would disturb somebody you know or disturb someone that has a medical condition or any kind of situation going on I don't see how they can do that I just that just shocks me when I think about people who do those things to people like do you have any feelings 
Don't you know you're hurting people? Now, this has nothing to do with this video. All This right here, all this stuff I've been talking about, I'm just talking to all you that um, I've been talking to for a long time. That's who I'm talking to. All of you that have been through some things like I have and just been basically used, abused, hurt, betrayed. People betray you, pretending to like you, but yet going to tell somebody what you said, you know, acting, pretending. Don't care about you. Just want a pat on the back. No. And don't give a damn about how you feel. And for people who see that people don't like a person, then they turn their back on you and don't care. But I always want to be around you to hear what you got to say. And then go back and tell people what you said to cause more enemies and more problems. You know how when you can be inside or you can be somewhere with somebody and you can say things and then they go back and tell people what you say and add a little extra to it. You know, they add, always add, add an extra to it, saying what they think the person doing and all that. And it be all just all up in the head. Stay away from people like that. Stay away from them. I'm going to line this a little bit. Should I? No, I think I should leave it alone. I think lining it is going to make it too bold. I'm going to let this kind of, I know I shouldn't bake, but I'm going to bake a little bit here. And I'm going to put on some blush now. Uh, blush. Now, I do not know, like, what kind of blush I want to put on. I mean, I thought about these eyeshadows here. Um, this one is like this orange type of bronzy color. I think that would be pretty as a highlight. I was going to use this on my eyes and I completely forgot. This would be really pretty as a highlight. So I think I'm going to put that on my cheeks. And this is the eyeshadows that I showed y'all by O-U-L-A-C brand. Really like that. And then I have... I have this one. This one is really cute. And then I've got some bolder colors. I have this beautiful pink shade, but I think it won't look good with this golden makeup look. Now, they all have glitter in them. Like, that right there is still glitter. And I really didn't want glitter on glitter. So, I don't think I want to use these as eyeshadow. I mean, blush. Not eyeshadows, but blush. Okay. Um, I do have this Neutrogena Multi-Use Stick. This is something that you can use really quick and easy. You can use this on your eyes. You can use it on your cheeks and your lips. Um, the only thing about it, it is really creamy. I didn't want a cream blush. So, let me look over here and see what I got that I can use as a blush. I know I got something in here. Okay. I got this blush palette by Epilence. Y'all know this one. Love this. And I think I'm going to go in with this tone. Maybe a little bit of this coral tone. Just a little bit. I'm going to grab my brush I'm going to use this smaller brush that I used yesterday I like this as a blush brush 
or a highlighter brush so I'm gonna grab this middle tone shade right there and this coral shade right there and add this on Now go a little bit towards the apples of my cheeks. There. This has a shine to it. It's very pretty. I start midway and then go towards my temple, blending the blush out and then go towards my apples of my cheeks. That's the way I've been putting on my blush. I think that looks really cute. Pretty. Put a little bit on my nose. I think that's pretty good. Alright, and now I'm going to take the highlighter here and then I'm going to contour my nose here in a minute. I use this eyeshadow and use it as a highlighter. I think it'll work. Yes, it is. It has a little glitter in it, but I think a little bit doesn't look too bad. It is glitter though. Eh, I really didn't want glitter on my face. It's like sticking. It's not blending. I really don't like that y'all. So let me just, I like it on my eyelids, like with a color into the crease, but I don't like it like as a highlight. Let me just use my NK New York, my favorite palette here. Just add some highlight on the inner corner and just blend it there and just go right over that. There we go. And then we're going to do contour. Okay. Alright, so contour. And I need to take off, I don't know if this highlight is going to wipe off onto this powder, but hopefully not. Take this powder off here. All right, and now taking the contour pencil. And I'm going to go in. I actually like this bronzer shade in my, my palette that I created. But we'll go ahead and use this pencil. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Blend it in like that, that. There we go. And then I 
I could use just a, a finger to blend it. Okay. There we go. And then that was something that I did the other day. I used that luminous and put it right down the center of my nose and it gave a beautiful highlight just right on my nose. I'm going to show y'all. I think it'll work without a brush. I hope so. The luminous foundation spray. Take a little bit on my finger and just go directly See here, it gives a highlight. All right, and I hadn't done that in such a long time. I thought, wow, <laughs> I haven't tried that in a long time. And you just keep that highlight there. I'm just going to let it dry there, and then I'll sort of blend it. So now it's time to finish these eyes and... Let me fix my hair and we will be done. Okay. So I think I need to put hmm, a little bit more eyeliner into the waterline. And just in that, just like that. All right. So now <laughs> we can take um my. Mascara. No, we're gonna add on that green eyeshadow. Yeah, this one. We're gonna use the green eyeshadow. We're gonna place it right underneath the lash, just the way we had it from the beginning. That just adds a little extra because the golden is on the eyes. We're going to add green underneath the lash. Y'all, let me tell you how these haters around here try to keep you in a hard situation. Can you believe that they actually try to scare me up to get an automobile? <laughs> you know, they have better control when you're stuck, you know, around them. And you got one way to get to every place you need to get to. Y'all, I'm not even lying to y'all. They try to absolutely make me scared. They wanted to make me think that the only way I need to get around is by being around them. And they constantly... insulting me as a person while taking me where I gotta go and also hurting me see that's the trickery don't get fooled by the trickery you have to tell them no 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 
Aren't you getting where you need to go? You know, with your own stuff? No, 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 you don't. That's what you have to tell them. No, you don't. No, you don't. See, that's part of control. That's narcissistic ways. Okay? what you call narcissistic you have to say oh no you don't narcissistic people all they want is control to destroy you that's all they want they try to destroy people And put you, try to put you in fear, you know. Fear to do this, scared to do that, scared to do this, scared to do that. And if you don't wake up, you know, and realize that, they'll just continue to do it. And then laugh behind your back. Because they know they frightening you up, scaring you up. And could possibly stop you from succeeding with careers, opportunities, all that, if you let them do it, okay? If you let them do it, they'll do it. Trust me, they will. They will try to. It's up to you to either say stop or it's up to you to say no, okay? No, you're not going to do that to me. Nope. Nope. I'm going to put just a line here. I think it'll be pretty. Just a line right here. Right here into my crease. Just defining that crease a little deeper. Coming on across here. I like that. That gives me like a little bit of a defined crease. Not even a little bit. Get it does define my crease a little more. That might look a little hooded to some of y'all, but listen, I have hooded eyes and that's it. That's all I can say. So that's the it. Like for real, that's that. So don't let them trick you. And if you love doing something, do it. I'm not the best makeup person. But you know what? I love the makeup that I put on and I put it on the way I like it. And that's that's all that matters. Deepening up. And another thing about people that hate you, don't like you, 
is that they want to mess up your day. By the time you wake up, they start. And what you got to do is let them know that you're not messing up my day. When you leave, go out, whatever, you got to let them know, no, nah, no. Nah. If I want to go outside, do a fashion video, I'll go outside. If I want to. If I want to go out tonight, I'll go out tonight if I want to. So, you know, you got to come out of there. You got to let them know that they're not going to control you. They're not going to take advantage of you. Okay, so y'all, I believe that's about it. I do want my cheeks a little bit more bolder. Let me turn on this light because it's getting dark, y'all. It's like an hour and 47 seconds and going. This is the look. Look how cute. I know I got the same top on, y'all. It's just mine. Loungewear. 